So we're going to learn about inscribed angles and their relationship with their arc measures. So an inscribed angle versus a central angle is when an angle doesn't pass through the center point on the vertex. Okay, so my inscribed angle here, I'm just going to label it A, B, C. Um, and there's a special relationship when we have the vertex B on the outer layer of the circle. We have a formula because we have angle here. Okay, angle B okay, is going to be one half of the arc measure that it was created. So I have angle B and arc AC. So how we write this is that angle B is going to equal the arc of AC divided by 2. Okay, So let's take a look at some examples here. So example number one, inscribed angle. Okay, we're going to find arc PO, so arc PO and angle NPN. So PO is here. Okay. So what we need to do, and then angle NPN is here. I'm going to start with angle NPN. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take its arc measure to get this angle and do 70 divided by 2. That'll give me angle NPN is 35 degrees. To go the other way, instead of dividing by 2, you're going to multiply 2 if it gives you the angle here. So it's going to be 56 times 2. And that'll give me arc PO. Okay, so um, you're either multiplying by 2 or dividing by 2 to get to your arc or angle measure. So I'm going to do letter B here. So arc CF, I'm going to mark my arc CF. Looks like it's created by this piece here. And then I'm going to find angle DCE. DCE. So I'm going to find this guy. And it looks like it's created by this piece here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm, I'm going to take this angle measure and multiply it by 2 to get my arc CF. And then how I'm going to find this angle here, I'm going to take the arc of DE and divide 98 by 2. So angle DCE equals 49 degrees.